Hi everyone, welcome to Narayshaya Technologies, this is Srinivas. In the last video I have explained about the dictionary, how to process the elements of dictionary. So in this video, so I am going to explain how to create an empty set. So generally, so whenever we are creating any collection object, we can create in two ways, with a direct assignment of empty set, empty list, empty tuple like that. The second way is what by calling the constructor. So in two ways, but here it is a set, empty set we can create only with the help of constructor, not direct assignment. See, here first I want to create a list in how many ways. For example, L1 equal to by assigning an empty list directly, this is one way. Next L2 equal to by calling the constructor also we can, we are calling the constructor, this is calling constructor, it will create an empty list. So how can we check whether it is a list object or not, means there is a function called a type function. Whenever we pass the reference, nothing but object reference if you pass, what type of class it is, it will explain. So the type function we are calling and we are passing L1. So this is a list class and whenever we are calling the type of L2, it will display. Next in the same way, right, in how many ways we can construct the tuple. So here it is first, for example, T1 equal to, so tuple we are representing with parenthesis, T2 equal to a2 equal to by calling the constructor we are calling, by calling the constructor. So again two ways to construct the tuple. So we are checking that type, type of T1, type of T1 and next one is a type of T2, type of T2. So in both the ways we can construct either by direct assignment or by calling the constructor. So now let's come to our discussion. Here, how to create a set, suppose S1 equal to, here it is a set we are representing like this with the braces, S2 equal to, here it is we are calling the constructor set, but see whenever we are checking like type of S1, it is not the set, it is dictionary, because dictionary also we are representing with the braces only representing with the braces only. So by default, it is considered as a dictionary only. But sir, how can we recognize means what? Set means directly it will store the elements. Dictionary means what? It stores the elements along with the keys. In a previous examples we have seen, in previous videos, right, of this playlist we have seen. So here, so whenever we are checking that second one, just type of S2, if you check like this, and this is the set class. So, you can construct an empty set only by calling the constructor, no other way, only by calling the constructor, right. So here, for example, whenever we are taking that set, S is equal to some 10 we are storing, 10, only one element we are storing. So then whenever we are checking the type of S, yes, this is the set, this is the set. So here. So whenever we are removing that, whenever we are removing, for example, s dot discard one function is there, we have seen already, discard of 10, I just want to remove that element from the set. So set is an empty. So whenever we are printing that set, if no elements are there, so then generally what we are expecting open brace and close brace, but it will not show open brace and close brace. Because whenever it will show open brace and close brace, then you will confuse whether it is a set or a dictionary. So that is the reason clearly it will mention it is a set object, it will not mention the braces. For example, here we are taking the dictionary, here, here we are specifying some value, for example 10 and with the element is a A, element is a A. So whenever we are checking the type of D, it is a dictionary. It is a dictionary, but here it is a whenever we are calling that pop item, one function is there, it will remove the item, the 10 removed. Whenever it is removed, now whenever we are printing that dictionary, no elements in the dictionary. 
Now, sir, will it show the dictionary? No, it will show that open brace and close brace. Because by default, open brace and close brace is representing dictionary, not the set not the set and of course directly we cannot create empty set with the help of braces right that is what a dictionary representation both set and dictionary we are representing with braces only but then how can we recognize means a simple way if you specify the elements as a key value pair we can call it as a dictionary only elements means direct storage means what that is a set so this is the question they are asking how can we recognize set and dictionary how can we create an empty set in interviews okay so hope you understood for more videos please subscribe to narishati channel thank you